Hey guys, John here from Rock County Jet Ski, Watcon.com. Welcome to Watercraft Talk. Today I thought maybe I'd like to show you a super jet that we have here in the shop. I want to talk about the foam in the tray and potential spots for water to get in. Also, this particular Superjet that we have here is a 2015. This is an adult-ridden, very low-hour, very clean machine. It comes from a lake. This has not been surf-ridden or abused. And I want to show you some wear in the bottom of the hull where the engine rubber block rubs on the hull. So what we have here is a 2015 Superjet. This particular ski is a freshwater, low hour, local, lake ridden, adult owned machine. Um, first off, I wanna talk about the procedure Yamaha does to fill this back tray area. They put flotation foam in here. Uh, they inject the foam through holes in the bulkhead, which we'll show you. Uh, they, they cover the holes with just a sticker and we find over time, you can get water in there. The foam will absorb this water, become very heavy, ultimately uh, make your ski handle poorly and affect the rideability. Also, Yamaha puts a block like this now from the 2008 and later skis. Yamaha is mounting this, this block underneath the engine and we're finding that this rubs on the hull and can do hull damage. Chris, if you bring the camera on in here, we'll have a look and I'll point and show you what we're talking about. So here at the back of the bulkhead, you can see we have covered this with epoxy. That is one injection point. Here is another injection point where Yamaha fills the rear tray area with foam. Also, anywhere that comes, where the tubes come through the, the bulkhead is subject to leak. So we fill these areas with just silicone, 100% clear silicone or white silicone as I did in this case. So you want to seal both of your tubes here and you want to seal where your steering cable comes through as well and the exhaust tube up here, there you go. Uh, you can see that we've got sealed. All of those areas are places where water can get into your tray area and the foam will soak up the water and make your ski very heavy and handle poorly. Now, if you'll come forward a little, Chris, I wanna show you guys this wear spot on the hull. We see this quite often on machines that are ridden harder, maybe in surf, jumped a lot, etc. This particular ski, it kinda surprised me because again, it's an adult owned, lake ridden, easy, life ski. There is substantial wear here. I'm sure you can't really see it, but this is at least a sixteenth of an inch worn into the bottom of the hull. This is from where the rubber mount under the engine has been rubbing on the hull. We remove these. It's my recommendation that you take that out and just leave it off. Yamaha has been using that on every Superjet from 2008 and later. I hope you find that informative. Please hit the subscribe button, like, tag, share, and follow, and we'll see you out on the water. 